Boom. Yeah. Vixeling. Hey. Boom. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I'm recording one more episode today. And we'll probably finish this dungeon with this episode. And now that we have the uh, bow and arrow, let's fire it at that one. Womp. A la wala womp. Oh yeah, and now the water is no longer poisonous. That's when you could have gone into that other room, because now all the water in the dungeon is normal. And yeah, those plant monsters, they die. They they want they want poisonous water. Somehow. It's too clean for them now. Any no, no stray fairies in here, but we do, we do, oh yeah, I don't want to take any chances in wasting time. Oh yeah, by the way, if you touch fire as a Deku, uh, you will burn, and that's no fun. And then we stand right here, and eh. Uh, we, 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 you, you want to aim at the... At the torch. And then when you have the fire, yes! That, oh yeah, that, that does open the doors. That, oh, that was... So let's take a map, mapsy look -see. Oh, there's one room... Wait, second floor? Huh? Wait, that's above... Wait... Or is that le oh that might be oh, okay that might be that room. Now that I really think about it. Whoop! Let's get going. We're almost done with the dungeon. This, as you can see, yeah, there's the bus door. It's only this big room, and I believe all four of the rest of the stray fairies are here. I really hope so. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go on a little. And you must die. And you must die. And you must die. And you're flying fr oh, oh, yeah! Doesn't matter where you hit them. <laughs> oh, it's kind of nice that it fell into the water and they had uh, like a splash effect for it. Oh! So let's find the rest of those stray fairies in here. Uh, Woodfall Temple, first dungeon of the game. Not that big dungeon, but it, it's, it's, it is the first dungeon, so it's not that weird that it's small. But also, it is, if you compare it to like inside the Deku Tree from Ocarina of Time. It is much larger than that, and much more difficult. Well, because it's a, it is a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time, so they obviously have to assume that... Well, not assume, but like guess that you've played Ocarina of Time, and it make it a bit more complicated. And also, the first dungeon occurs much later in the game. So that's 13, 14, and 15. Yeah, you see them both there. And might as well get them right now. And... Mm, pop! And... As long as you pop them, they will come to you. If they're in bubbles, they will not go to you. Because they can't. Because they're stuck in bubbles. You found a stray fairy! This is a quick... Yeah, you found all the stray fairies! Quick, take them to their fellow fairies at, of the same color. So yeah, the woodfall fairies are the pink fairies. Woo! So, wait, Clock Town, they were, were they orange-ish? I don't know. And these are the pink ones. I know there are blue and yellow. Are the other ones, are they green or red? Because there are five sets of fairies. Or were the, I don't remember anymore. So... How do you get over... Oh, wait. Get down. I believe... If we shoot that thing, the fires go out. And yeah, and there, there, there is a flower on one of them. So you have to reach that one. Then you see the flower in the little tower to the left of me. That one's quite unnecessary. Uh, or is it? Maybe not. I do remember, like, parts of this room being unnecessary. For some reason. Oof. 
blap, 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 blap. And do we have to reshoot the thing or? Because I can't shoot it from the tower. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Good thing. Good thing we didn't go. But it does hold for quite some time. So we do have time. That's good to know. That's really good to know. For some reason, I have it in my memory that... Or maybe it's like, oh, you can from here. You can go to the ceiling above there. Oh, yeah. And you probably want to go from this flower then. Because otherwise you'll automatically go to the ceiling. And that's what's in the way. That's what's unnecessary. You want to go down here. And also the second pillar with the fire in it. That's also unnecessary. This one. That's what I think I remember. And if you wait in this flower until the, uh, the fire starts up again, I, I, I have tried that, then it will just, uh, wait, as soon as you pop out, you will get burnt. Oh, it's about to turn to the first night. We did it in half, half one of the days. This dungeon. Well, here we go. First boss of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Big round chamber. And it's lined by bomb flowers. Uh huh. Jungle drums, jungle drums, jungle drums, jungle drums. Ha ha! It's Odolwa. Masked jungle warrior, Odolwa. But, which makes me. Oh, yeah, right! So, one thing, I th uh, that means I already know, because I, I named all the Ocarina of Time episodes after, like, the boss titles. Probably gonna do that here as well. Less bosses in this game, but still. Um, s same as when I'm playing Pokemon, whenever there's a gym leader battle, that's what the episode is named. Uh, the thing that I find really cool about the original Majora's Mask boss battles is that there's not only one way to beat the bosses. Like, this guy can use arrows. Not right now, he, he will be avoiding them. And he has his weird chanting. Oh, it's nighttime. Ouch. Uh, I do believe... Yeah, you can use bombs against him, even though... Well, there are, there are bomb flowers around. Eh. Ow, kicking me. You can use your sword. Sometimes you can use your arrows. Ugh. It's just a, such a cool thing that there is just like, oh yeah, use your dungeon item, find the weak spot, attack it, and then when the boss is stunned, ooh, ooh, oh, eh. Ah, oh, I wasn't close enough. Eee. He has two more chants that he will do later. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hosh kadai. Hush, good day. Hush, good day. And he summons bugs. Doo -doo. Little bugs. And they are unnamed because, well, you. Finalen! Finalen! It's the third chant. He summons moths. And the only way to get away from the moths is. Deku Mask. And. Isn't there supposed to be a. Yeah, here. A yellow Deku flower. Eek! No, hurry! Oh crap, I didn't have time. Hurry! Ooh, quick! This is the only- oh, So many enemies here. Oh, could I? Oh, could I? But, yay, got him! Boom! Yeah, I did dealt damage to him. Oh yeah, he does a ring of fire. He has so many cool moves, and you just try- Yeah! Uh, and now... Yeah! And now he's stunned. Now we can... Oh, that was a short stun. Oh, and the moths died. Hey, so, so many cool things, like, fi to figure out how to... Yeah, shot him with an arrow. Oh, he summoned more bugs. Hush, kadai! He also does one when he's, r like, running around the room. Uh. Wow! Kriang, quip! Uh, but in the in the 3ds version they like changed. Oh, yeah now it's raining rocks and the flame ring. so many moves like for a first boss. This is so cool Ow. Oh Finolin, 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 Finolin. 
We are. Oh, and the spinny move. <laughs> the animators must must have had a fun time with this guy. Eh, eh. Bomb, bomb the moths. Yeah. Yeah, it's so cool you can bomb the moths to death. No finalen, no finalen. Oh, my face! And I wonder, is it some sort of like giant human or is it... Ow, ow, oh, the spin. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, in, in the 3DS version... Oh yeah, I got him with a bomb. You see, you can damage him in so many different ways. But the... Oh, and they all drop hearth. Hearth? Hearts. Uh, but in the 3DS version, they forced you into like, oh yeah, oh, this is the running around the room move. Oh, uh, well, he didn't run very far. Ow, 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 spin attack. Doesn't deal much damage, though. In the 3DS version, for the millionth time now, uh, they force you to, the only way to damage him is to go into the Deku Flower as a Deku. Uh, and then pop out, that will stun him, reveal his newly added weak spot because they decided with the Maj with Majora's Mask 3D that oh yeah we should give all the bosses a weird like eye that appears and from th for this guy it's it comes out from the back of his head I don't understand why this is much cooler as it is oh yeah at the back of his head there there's like a weird eye that comes out and you have to hit that specifically to hurt him I think he also has less health, and you cannot use, like, all the other different ways that we just did to beat him. But this this boss is... it's so well done in that way. Yay, another heart. And that's the first dungeon of Majora's Mask done. The other ones will take longer time. This is like, yeah, it was a three episode, uh, and we're not even done with this one. You have just freed- oh yeah, you got Odolvo's remains. You have just freed the innocent spirit that this dark mask had kept imprisoned within the body of evil Odolva. Hmm. Now for some mysterious stuff. Huh? Where are we? Bubbles? Waterfalls, weird lights, everything is like, woo! What's that? Yeah, it's in the distance, beyond the waterfall. Hello! something could that crying be its way of teaching us some sort of melody oh wow don't you stand there get your instrument oh. could this be the song boom, 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 boom. I like this song too. It's not one of my favorites, but it is beautiful. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> you played the oath to order. order such weird creatures these the giants of Majora's Mask just a head with legs and arms coming out where the ears should be call us that's what it's saying hmm mysterious mysterious but what's happening in the swamp of Woodfall? 
The waters have been cleansed. And the temple goes up. Revealing an extra platform that leads into an extra tunnel. Which is where we get deposited. This might have been the room that I saw on the map and was like, uh huh, wait, that room? The four people Tail talked about. Do you think he was talking about the spirit that was sealed inside that mask? Oh, hey, y you were pretty good out there. Have you done this before or what? Hmm, yes, uh, I've been to quite a couple of dungeons this link. <laughs> In Ocarina of Time, that is. Now, just keep up that pace and save the other three. <gasps> hey! Um... Some character development time. All that stuff I did to you. Your horse. I... I apologize. Thank you for the real apology, Tattle. Thank you. Sorry. There, I apologized. So don't hold it against me. Got it? Now then, we've helped the princess just like the monkey asked. So now our next stop is in the mountains. Let's hurry and do something about that skull kid. But did we help the princess though? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. So yeah, there is... Oh, there's the princess. So they they made a thing here you can't enter because there are vines hanging down and you cannot cut them down as Deku Link. And if you do it as normal Link, which is the way to do it, it automatically turns into a cutscene. So you can never meet the Deku princess as Deku Link. I think they made that deliberately so that she would always know what you were from the beginning. What? Who are you? Vixie? Nice to meet you. I am the Deku princess. Were you, by chance, asked by that monkey to come save me? Aha! Just as I suspected. You see, your body smells a little bit like monkey. Thanks. So, the monkey made it back fine after all. That's good. I was worried that when I didn't come home, my father would think that monkey had kidnapped me. I was worried that my father would even go so far as to punish the poor monkey. <laughs> Don't tell me. Are you serious? Is father actually doing that? Yet another hasty decision, father. <laughs> Well, we haven't any time to lose. Quickly, Mr. Vixie, could you please find something to carry me in so you can take me to the Deku Palace? Yeah, and she won't let... Oh, yeah, you can actually leave. I thought she wouldn't let you go. I don't mind tight places, so surely you have something you can put me in to carry me. If you have anything at all, then by all means, take it out and use it right here. Yeah, yeah, fine, but then I have to release my friend, the fairy, and I'm not even hurt. Come out here. It's such a weird way, like, to <laughs> make her, you bring, look at the bottle, look at the size of that bottle, compared to her, but yeah, it's, it's super weird, but yeah, sure. You put the Deku Princess in a bottle. It's a tight fit, but she says she, she'll be fine if you hurry. You see to let her out. Uh, Mr. Vixen, there's no time to lose. Hurry, take me to the palace. Well, 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 we'll do as the princess commands. But the thing is, I have to end this episode here. It's quite long right now, to be honest. Uh, so I need to go over to the statue here to save. Uh, so it's... Boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep. Instead of going around half of Woodfall just to get to it, we'll teleport to it. It's on the other side of the temple, so... Uh... Woodfall, please. And dee 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 dee. Don't need to see the whole cutscene. Well, well, you're forced to. Doesn't matter. Well, I, I guess it's loading while doing that cutscene. But don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.
Bye. Boom. Yeah. Every song. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Watch a video. Yeah. Boom.